Hey guys, it's Chris at the Ultimate Recycler here with another little worm test. Now I have done a test on lettuce before, but I threw it all through my garden mulcher and mulched it all up to a pulp, which I do with most of my food scraps. However, I've been getting lots of buckets of lettuce from the bakery lately. Out the back they leave their food scraps for me. And rather than just tip these buckets straight in my green waste bin or onto my compost pile, uh, which I generally do because I like to compost all the scraps rather than them putting it into the skip that goes to landfill. Uh, I thought I might as well just try a little quick experiment on lettuce. Basically just straight off the, um, whatever you call the head of lettuce, straight off the head, that's right. So they're just leaves, there's a few stems in there, chunkier bits, and uh, they've been sitting in a bucket for a few days. And I thought I'd just spread them out as if we've got a huge big salad. And I'll put the carpet over them and we'll just check them in a week and we'll just see what happens as far as the worms go. As far as uh, shredding them up goes or putting them through my mulcher, they, within a week, the worms were into them, the lettuce had all wilted to next to nothing, and within two weeks there was worms everywhere and the lettuce disappeared. So it'll be an interesting experiment here because it's basically about the same amount, it just looks more because it hasn't been mulched up. Uh, so I just dug this garden bed over. I didn't see a single worm. They must have all moved elsewhere. I haven't done any tests in here for a while. So this would be a good little experiment to see if we're going to track the worms back and how they handle lettuce just straight in its original salad form rather than being mulched. So we'll check back in a week. Okay, apologies guys, I missed last week and now it's been two weeks. So let's get see what's going on with the lettuce. I haven't checked it at all. I've completely forgotten about it. And it's, all right, looks like it's decomposing quite well. The big stem bits are obviously going to take longer because it's not mulched up. We'll get rid of this carpet, hang on. There we go. So the big bits are certainly going to take a lot longer and it's well worth mulching them. Interesting to see how many worms have come back into this. I think there's one under there. Uh, the leaves have behave pretty much like the mulch lettuce does because they're very thin they've broken down very quickly can't see any worms here though let's have a look under here no nope. oh there's one so there's some worms coming in um, oh there's quite a few actually here there we go there's one under there too so because they're just a thin layer and it's not really creating any sort of bulk that the worms like to get into. They're probably just having a nibble and moving on as it's ready. Um, perhaps they're just treating it like a, um, a salad bar and they're just grazing and every now and again they pop in and make themselves a nice bowl of salad and there you go, there's a few under there. So they're getting into it fine, no issues. This has been two weeks, so most of the normal lettuce leaf has gone if you look at that it's just the thinnest of layer of layers and the worms are, are pretty much just eating it away to nothing uh, the stems are going to take a lot longer and the thicker parts of the lettuce so two weeks in if this was all mulched like i've previously done this would have been gone so i think that demonstrates that thicker items certainly benefit from being chopped up or mulched uh, whereas if they're thin or in, you know, leaf form or not chunky, they'll break down well on their own. But I would certainly recommend throwing stuff through your garden mulcher or even just throwing it on the lawn and running a lawnmower over it. If you can break up these big chunks, I think if we check this in a couple of weeks, these chunks would still be here. So that was really the purpose of the experiment. Um, we had some excess lettuce. We wanted to use it. Uh, the worms will continue to eat here. I might rake these bits out and drop them in the compost bin and then I can set this garden bed up for another test. But uh, it all goes to building our knowledge base of what's good to spread on the garden, what's the best to do if you're feeding your worm farm. Uh, you could certainly mulch up or even use a kitchen blender and whip through some lettuce and they're going to love it. But the bigger chunks, if you put them in your worm farm, they're going to hang around for a while. Okay, thanks for watching. Look out for my next test.